It started like a comedy, the escalator speech. America's most hated boss descending out of reach. The cameramen who rolled their eyes, the journalists who knew. Today's delusion couldn't last beyond the interview. But somehow all the talk of crimes and cover-ups and walls spoke to his target audience and packed arena halls. Their red hats flashing in the stands like rags before a bull made rage and lost their higher cause and every heart was full. But could we then have known we were confronting face to face not just another jaded millionaire but our national disgrace. The migrant sons and daughters, thrown in cages and afraid, called for the missing parents, separated in a raid. The cries of blood and soil echo through a darkened street, where torches lit the statues that mourned slavery's defeat. The lies once so outrageous soon became a point of view believed as much as proven fact, the most believed, least true. His former foes paid homage to the powers he abused, or ended up in exile, blamed, insulted, and accused. Did they suspect by then the swept away without a trace? They were just the latest casualties of our national disgrace. soon became another prop to raise before a battered church used for a photo op. His unmarked troops and agents, shields ready, formed a line. For him just one life mattered, and it wasn't yours or mine. He hired and fired flatterers who sanctified the gun. Watched as a new contagion spread and covered up the sun. The rest of us stood by the toll, more frightening every day. He shrugged behind the podium, soon it will go away. How often did we overlook deception in the space between his words of nonsense and our national disgrace? An empire built on hoaxes, empty slogans like you're fired. The women that he silenced and the strong men he admired. The NDAs and legal briefs that whistled lower's fear. The Russian bots who struck and disappeared. Will the postal service crash? Like the economy he wrecked. He'll sow doubts about election day, but what can we expect from someone who's lived all his life inside a golden tower? Loaded with dreams of grandeur, drunk on property and power. There's a time for action and a time to bear the weight, a time to ask for guidance. And a time to keep the faith, a time to gather in the streets and make our voices heard, a time to cast our ballots and to have the final word. What world will we discover in the moment we erase the cruelty and the high crimes of our national disgrace? our national disgrace. 
our national disgrace. Our national disgrace. Our national disgrace. Our national disgrace. Our national disgrace Our national disgrace Our national disgrace